what we've discovered here this morning uh, on, on the two uh, vaults and, and, and caskets that we've, we've opened up, uh, the vaults were not sealed and no attempt to seal them. And, and the families who purchased this particular package um, expected the reason to purchase the vaults to protect the integrity of what the contents inside being the casket and the loved one's remains. Uh, because it was not sealed, uh, there's standing water that's in the vaults, there's water in the caskets, and uh, there's less than eight inches of dirt on, on top of them. The industry standard is two feet. Um, and so what we're, what we're going to be dealing with is more so industry standard rather than law. There's not a law governing some of these uh, procedures, but, but I think we're on good solid ground by using an industry standard. And because of what has happened to the remains inside, uh, the, we consulted with the district attorney's office and the you know, approval of the risk is a lot of get to this point well we you know had we have to get you know go through the board of health get seek permission to, to do what we've done uh, we had to get search warrants you know like I said this is a first for me and you know a little over 30 years mm -hmm. uh, but but we are learning literally minute by minute the different uh, processes of, of, of the burial uh, program so you know, we will get to a certain point and we'll call the state funeral board, ask questions, and, and you know, that's how we've got to the point where we're now. Does it make it more difficult because it's case by case situation to be able to know exactly what you're looking for and going into this and the process it takes case by case? It is, um, you know, but you know, that's really only the fair way to do it. You know, I, I want to be really clear that you know, we're not out here targeting any particular individual or any particular business. You know, we're simply answering complaints filed by citizens of Mobile County, and, and we've asked for an investigation, and that's, that's why we're here today. So if you look at Heritage Memorial Gardens, what role does Joseph play, and what role does Cedric play? A lot of that is still unwinding. Um, you know, and, and, and I don't want to get into that specific, that type of specifics in the case, but it's, they're intertwined a lot. Okay, so basically Joseph was acting as the funeral director speaking with these families, sealed or, or grave liners or whatever these particular ones are called is part of the problem. Uh, part of the problem is uh, inadequate embalming process. Uh, what we did learn is that you know there's no set standard on how much embalming fluid you need to use. I, mean, I, I will say in these cases there was a very minimal amount used and that's why you're smelling human decomposition. And it's, you know, there's no other smell like that. Moving forward, what's the next step? What's the next thing you guys are supposed to do? We 
we still have a lot of paperwork to sort through. Um, some more interviews to do, and uh, I'm sure there will be additional charges for additional people. There are a lot of other families out there as well who have loved ones here, and you guys plan to uh, come in a second time to but, but, that Again, uh, several have come to us, and, and we will talk to them on, you know, see what the particular circumstances are, and uh, from that will be determined, you know, what steps we take. And, and, but yeah, we probably take it down another seven or eight names. Have you guys found if this is a legal cemetery? That, that's a still an open question. Um, I know the city of Pritchard did authorize them last week to start reusing it, uh, but I think there's still some questions as to you know whether mainly because of the water table and then you know the, the location of it, whether it can be used as a cemetery. And, but that's that is not for the sheriff's office to, to decide. 